you know, he didn't want to make music that was like video game music. He wanted to make movie music, like an actual proper soundtrack. Cool. And I think a lot of that music, you know, that shows because you can can listen to it now, and even you know, 20 years later, a lot of this music is still really, really impressive, really awesome. Well, it's funny because uh, I think the last time you were on the show, I remember talking about the music, and um, when me and my sister were little we would like make up lyrics to random songs because we were just strange. <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, the music in these games has, has always been so great. Right here, what you see in the background, if you, if you pay attention actually, the death egg is rising up as we're progressing. And you'll see the oh, egg bots cool. flying out of it as it goes up through the clouds. Now you saw those, those signs there, and that the sign is actually a pretty cool feature. Um, it is optional first off, so if you want to turn it off, you can. But um, Sonic games, as they progress through 3D, face the challenge of how do you kind of raise the difficulty through the later stages without adding these bottomless pits? Right. You know, and so the bottomless pits are kind of they're kind of frustrating because you just die. And so, you know, in a platformer game, it's understandable, but still, it is a little frustrating when you're going from doing really well to just death. So we've added these signs that let you know anytime a bottomless pit is near to kind of watch out because you got one coming up. So I really appreciate that. And I'm call me what you will yeah. if I'm not hardcore enough. <laughs> but I, re I, I really could have used that 10 years the ago. Bottomless pits get you, Jeff. <laughs> that, that really would have been super helpful back then. Game no. looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, every single level has been essentially reimagined in HD. And then even, so th this is the classic level right here as classic Sonic. Now, this level is completely different from what modern Sonic will play. And mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you guys modern Sonic after this, and you'll see just how different it is. These clouds, one of my favorite parts of the original level, and you get to bounce on these again. That's awesome. And if we can pull this off, oh, oh. almost, almost made it up there. But there are multiple paths, and that's another key feature of any good Sonic game, just like Sonic 4, is you've got your high path, your medium path, your low path, and the trick is to kind of figure out, um, you know, can you stay on the high path? Can you manage to keep it up for a long time? These, some Sonic fans might recognize. Let's see if I can pull this off. What we want to do here is take this, and as it's falling apart, we want to get up a little bit further. I'm going to try and make it here. There we go. Nice. So Classic Sonic here has just that spin dash, he's got the jump, he doesn't have the homing attack. So that is something that I think the purest fans will appreciate um, over Sonic 4 is that he doesn't have the homing attack. He plays just like the Genesis games in that regard. So is there any gameplay difference in terms of his feature set going from modern to, to classic? Completely. It's okay. a completely different set. It's, uh, actually, the, the levels themselves are built very differently mm -hmm. just for each Sonic. So. Gotcha. So all those Genesis fans, I think, will really appreciate the classic Sonic. Um, a lot of people that might not have played many of them were the newer 3D games, just because they, for whatever reason or another, you know, they decided I don't want to, I didn't want to touch the 3D Sonic. They'll certainly love this because this is going to feel very familiar to them. Now, at the same time, I think a lot of the, the younger audience that really, really started with the 3D games or, or enjoyed this quite a bit will probably come into this saying, "Oh, this, what's this 2D stuff? I don't know right. about this." And then they'll, they'll go out of it saying, "Wow, all those those old guys on the internet that said it was really good, were, they had something there." So <laughs> they weren't crazy. It'll, that, I, it'll have mutual appreciation on both sides, I think. After that, yeah. Now, is this the first non-DLC Sonic game for PS3 and 360? Um, it is not. Oh. Sonic Unleashed um, was before that. Uh, now, Sonic Unleashed though was was kind of uh, it was very polarizing for people because it had these daytime levels that everyone loved. The daytime levels were fantastic, and then it had the Werehog. Um, and the Werehog, I, either you loved it or you hated it, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so there was a lot of hate going on for that. So what we've taken for the modern stages here, and this is one of my favorite parts of the level wow, right here, that. by the way. That is so cool. Um, the modern parts of Sonic Generations pull a little bit from the daytime levels of Unleashed, and also they pull from Sonic Colors. So it's like the best of Sonic in 3D. That, that formula has become what is the, the modern here. So that was classic. So how different is a stage in 3D versus 2D? I guess you'll probably show that. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll just let you see it. Yeah. Look at this guy getting A's, trying to show off here. Hey, I don't. I don't get A's, man. I get S. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, as with as with most Japanese games, S rank is the highest you can get. If you score a maximum score and then you do it without dying at all, you get right. called the perfect bonus, and that'll bump you up one rank regardless of where you're at. That's pretty cool. So S is the highest. Yeah. 